What's good, yo? It's your boy, Coke Got it coming at y'all with another video. Right now, we about to get into my week four recap. Before we start, hit that like and subscribe button, and let's ride. All right, I picked 10 games this past week, and I went six and four. It's a nice little 60%. I was surprised by a couple games, but that's college football for you. Surprises every week. Start off, Washington State at USC. I had Washington State winning that game. USC has been looking really, really bad on offense lately. JT Daniels is a true freshman. He's got to get, you know, he's got to get his feet in the water <clears throat> and get adjusted to the college level. He's an early, I mean, he, he reclassified to the 2018 class. He wasn't even supposed to be out in college right now. He was supposed to come to college next year, so... And I took Washington State. I figured, you know, Mike Leach, Washington State, they're going to score points. And they did. They scored 36. Only bad thing is USC scored 39. USC pulled out the win. Surprised me, I must admit. Then we had Georgia at Mizzou. And I told you Georgia was going to dominate. And, I mean, in all actuality, we did dominate. But I wasn't. I was not happy at all by this game. I mean, if you look at the bright side, our defense is stout. At halftime, the score was 20-7 to 7 our way. We had no offensive touchdowns, so that lets you know how good the defense is. And, I mean, people can say what they want about Mizzou, but Mizzou's not a bum team. They're not a contender at all, but they're not bums either. And they definitely have an NFL quarterback playing for them right now. He could be in the NFL right now if he would have went to the draft last year. But we won 43-29. Nice little victory. I just didn't like the way we played, but still, we played like shit, and we still put up 43. Then we had Kansas State at West Virginia. I chose West Virginia, and West Virginia did what I thought they was going to do. I mean, they had a little bumpy first quarter, two turnovers and all that, but they won 35-6 to six, like I figured it'd be. Kansas State's just ass. Their quarterback's ass. This is a very, very bad Kansas State team. And we had A&M at Bama. And there was plenty of people thinking A&M was going to give Bama a run for their money. I wasn't one of them. You you can watch the video. I knew Bama was going to smash them. Texas A&M's a good team. They're definitely not ready for no Bama, though. Especially not in no hyped-up game. Not yet. Not yet. <clears throat> Bama won 45-23. Tua to Wugawa, Hawaiian punch. Uh... Still having a great season. I mean, after the national championship last year, you know, I kept telling people he was legit, but I wanted to see how he does through a whole season. I want to see how he does after teams have film on him. And at the moment, I mean, there's nothing changing. The man is out there playing almost absolutely perfect. And we had TCU at Texas. TCU was coming off of that loss to Ohio State. Texas was coming off of that big win to USC. You know, TCU honestly should be the better team. I had TCU winning, but they lost 31 to 16. I was highly shocked about that outcome. I didn't watch that game at all, but I was very, 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 very shocked about that. Then we had Mississippi State at Kentucky. SEC West versus SEC East. Everyone's always talking shit about the SEC East. Well, this game I predicted Kentucky to win, and they did. They won 28-7. to They completely dominated the game. They controlled the game. Nothing went wrong for them this whole game, pretty much. Kentucky handled their business. Kentucky is, they're not contenders. No, they are a good team. Then we had Florida at Tennessee, and I chose Tennessee. I figured at the house, I figured, you know, Two bum-ass teams, why not just pick the home team? Well, Florida showed me a good reason not to. Florida won 47-21. to And, I mean, yeah, now Florida fans are coming out of the swamps, and you can hear them now, but they know, and we all know. They'll be quiet again very soon. Then we had Texas Tech at Oklahoma State. I picked Oklahoma State because I was impressed with how they played against Boise State. I was impressed with what I saw. And Texas Tech, I was not impressed with them at all, especially after the first game against Ole Miss, because I know Ole Miss is ass. But 
Texas Tech came in here and beat Oklahoma State 41-17. Which, that right there is a prime reason why I don't never have faith in Big 12 teams. Because they'll impress you one week and then the next week they just make you think, what the fuck? And that's what Oklahoma State, I don't even know who they are right now. I don't even know if they're good. Because I know Texas Tech ain't good. They might can put up points, period. But they're not a good team. They're not at all. So I don't know. I don't know what to think of either of those teams right now. Then we had Stanford at Oregon. I picked Stanford to win. I didn't know if Bryce Love was going to play or not. He did play. And <clears throat> had a pretty decent game. Oregon looked real good. Oregon really beat themselves. They let them boys come back. Then at the end, all they had to do was take a couple knees and the game would have been over while well, they lost the ball. Let Stanford take it to overtime, and then Stanford won. <coughs> they won 38-31. Stanford has to go to Notre Dame this week coming up. I'm telling you right now, if Stanford can keep pulling off these wins, Stanford most certainly will become the number one team in the in the rankings by the time the uh, season's over with. Then we had Arizona State at Washington. And I picked Washington to win this. I also said don't be surprised if there was going to be an upset because that's what Arizona State does and can do. And this was actually a pretty good game. Washington won 27-20. to 20. I'm still not sold on Washington. I'm really not. Because if you want me to believe that you're a contender, if you want me to believe that you're a team that can go to the playoffs, possibly make the national championship, and possibly win, you can't be winning by seven points to – Arizona State while you're at the house. You just can't do that. Not for me to believe that you're a contender. And then we got two key highlighted games that I didn't put on my list. Virginia Tech, Virginia, Virginia Tech fell to Old Dominion, 49-35. Very embarrassing. Very embarrassing. I don't even know why Virginia Tech played on the road in that kind of game, but they did, and they lost. I promise you they regret it. They'll probably never do it again. And that, that that also makes Florida State look way worse. Makes the ACC look way worse. Because Old Dominion is not even a team that normally plays Power Fives good or play, or beats Power Fives. And then the way Virginia Tech slaughtered Florida State just makes Florida State look even worse than what they are. And then the other one, the Oklahoma Sooners won in overtime against Army. Now, I'm not going to say they're not legit. I'm not going to say they're pretenders, but that was not a good game, period. I, I'll give it to the fact that they don't know how to play the option. They don't play the option at all throughout the season. And when it comes down to that option, if you can gain yards on your plays, really any team that runs the option could beat any team in the country just because it kills so much time on the clock. And if you keep gaining the yardage and then scoring – there's not going to be enough time for anyone to blow you out. <clears throat> but in the next couple of weeks or so, I'll get my full opinion on Oklahoma. I'll know if that was just a, a little fluke game or not. But stay tuned. I got my video for my week five predictions coming up soon. It's your boy, Coke Gotti, and I'm out.